This is my Celestron C8 rig running on the ZWO AM3. And this is the largest scope I have. So I'm using the counterweight with this, even though I'm still under the specs. The AM3 can handle 17 pounds without counterweight. And this scope with the camera and guide camera, it's about uh, 16 pounds. But with the counterweight, the payload goes up to 23 pounds. So I'm well within the limit with the counterweight. Uh, I'm looking forward to getting it out tomorrow. Haven't used it yet. I've been testing all the slewing, make sure there's no binding and all the cables are correct and nothing is hitting something else. The tripod is is low and wide, which is which is good. Interestingly, AM3 does not come with a bubble level as with the AM5. So with this open peer extension, I mounted a bubble level right there on top. That's a good place for it. Using the strap on fabric below, I'm holding my battery bank in there. Look forward to getting this out. Uh, tomorrow evening is supposed to be clear. So we will hope that is the case. Been doing some simulations on targets and slewing to uh, certain targets. Uh, of course, this is not real time. Just testing the various angles. And it's nice that even when you're using the ASI Air Sky Atlas without being connected, it is simulating finding targets. Very pleased with the quickness of the slewing as compared to my Star Adventurer GTI. Very nice, very smooth and fast. That's the part have to get used to is the speed in which it slews. Now slewing to the pinwheel nebula. And I've been watching all the cables and the movement. Everything is stable. And we'll take this to the home position before powering down. And there is my dew shield that I will use. Also to block extraneous light as well. All right. Very happy with the prospect of using it beginning hopefully tomorrow.